Welcome to Acoustic Worship Service. You're in a new year. Praise the Lord. We're in a new month. We have seen a whole year pass and now we're experiencing a new one. God is faithful, isn't he? Yes, he has he been our great defender. He has been our strong tower. He is our faithful father. Join us. Let's worship him. He's never lost a battle. He's not gonna start, he's never. 
He's never lost a battle. So who are you, great mountain, that you should not bow low? Jesus defeated the curse. He has never lost a battle. Come on and say, who are you? Who are you, great mountain, that you should not bow low? Jesus, Jesus has broken the curse. He has never he lost a battle. And he never will, he never will. And he never will, he never will. And he never will, he never will. He's never been defeated. And he never will, he never will. He never will lose. And he never will, he never will. He goes before you and fights your battle. And he never will, he never will. He never will, he never will. He never will. And he never will, he never will. For you are my champion. And giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you've won. I am who you say I am. And you crown me with. I am seated in the heavenly place, undefeated by the power of your name. You are my champion. You are my champion. Giants fall. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you won. I am. I am who you say I am. Defender, you're a strong tower. You've never lost a battle. You'll never lose a battle. He's your great defender, and your strong tower. He'll never lose a battle. He'll never lose a battle. Hallelujah. Your presence is our greatest weapon, Lord. So all we need is you, oh, Jesus. All we need is you. Your presence is my greatest weapon, pushing back the darkness and breaking every chain. My worship opens up the heavens, crushing every stronghold when I speak your name. Your presence is my weapon, oh Jesus, oh, your presence is my greatest weapon, 
pushing back the darkness and breaking every chain and my worship opens up the heavens crushing every stronghold when I speak your name Jesus your presence is my Your presence is my weapon, oh Jesus, your presence is all we need, Lord, oh your presence is my greatest defense, your presence is my strong tower, you are a strong and mighty tower, so we run to you. shall smite me by day nor the moon by night you will prepare a table for me in every place of my enemies lord your presence is my weapon you have set yourself before me and i will see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living i will testify your presence is my come by the blood of the lamb Hallelujah. and the word of our testimony so we will stand and see in confidence lord your presence is my weapon your presence is my weapon jesus no other name like yours your presence is my your weapon presence is heaven to me Jesus oh your presence is heaven it's life and strength to me your voice and sing his presence is heaven your presence is heaven, is heaven to, me. to me your presence is my greatest treasure you alone are my greatest treasure your is 
Hi, and what an amazing opportunity the year 2022 presents before us to walk with God. And I am praying that you will determine this year to enjoy a fabulous relationship with God. I was reflecting at the beginning of this year, asking myself, what would I like to uh, do? Who would I like to emulate at the beginning of this year? And I was captivated by the account of Enoch. What an amazing Bible character Enoch was. His account is captured for us in the book of Genesis chapter 5. Allow me to read from verse 21 to verse 24. Genesis chapter 5, verse 21 to verse 24. The Bible says, When Enoch had lived 65 years, he became the father of Methuselah. After he became the father of Methuselah, Enoch walked faithfully with God 300 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Enoch lived a total of 365 years. Verse 24, Enoch walked faithfully with God. Then he was no more because God took him away. What a captivating Bible account of a man who left this world dramatically. Him and Elijah are the two Bible characters that we are aware of who did not test death. Elijah was caught up in the chariots of fire and he went to be with God. But as for Enoch, we are told that he walked with God. Then he was no more because God took him away. So there is no record of Enoch dying. You know, at a time when life expectancy was at about 900 years, he is a man, when he hits 65 years old, he bears his first child, Methuselah, who ended up being the oldest person. He lived to 969 years, Methuselah. That is why even the English say as old as Methuselah. This is where they draw it from. But Enoch, after having had his firstborn child, the Bible tells us that he walked with God for 300 years. Wow, how amazing it is. Not just three years, not just 30 years, but 300 years. That a mortal man could actually walk with God for 300 years is very captivating. And the Bible actually underscores the word faithfully. He didn't just walk with God, but he walked faithfully with God. And my prayer for you in the year 2022 is that you will walk and walk with God faithfully. As I reflect on the story or on the Bible account of um, Enoch, three things come to mind. That Enoch walked with God for 300 years suggests a number of things. The first one is, that, is this, that ordinary men and women can know God intimately. That ordinary men and women can know God intimately. Enoch was an ordinary man. He was an ordinary person. He was not an extraordinary person. He was not angelic. He was just a normal human being. He lived to 65 years old, had his first uh, son, Methuselah. Uh, he, after he walked, then he walked with God for 300 years and had other sons and daughters. So he was an ordinary person. He would have been an African, he would have been an Asian, he would have been a white, he would have been a European, he would have been any race. But he was an ordinary person. So when I reflect on Enoch's Bible account, I am encouraged to know that ordinary men and women can know God intimately. You see, Enoch knew God very intimately, that he would walk with God for 300 years. And the Bible says he walked with God faithfully. Not three years, not 30 months, not 30 years, but 300 years. It tells me this is a man 
who knew God very, very intimately. He walked in step with God. He walked side by side with God. He was committed to walking in fellowship with God. So take heart that it is possible for you and I in the year 2022 to know God and to know him intimately. You don't have to be an extraordinary person to enjoy intimacy with God. You just have to be an ordinary person who is determined to walk the extraordinary path, the path of knowing God intimately in the morning, during the day, in the evening. That's the first encouragement that comes to my heart. But the second possibility, when I reflect on the life of Enoch, is that it is possible to enjoy a life of uninterrupted fellowship with God. That it is possible to enjoy a life of uninterrupted fellowship with God. You see, right from the Garden of Eden, when God created Adam and Eve, his design was that they would enjoy uninterrupted fellowship. So it is said that God would descend from time to time in the cool of the day and he would walk in the garden and he would fellowship with him, with Adam and Eve, I should say. But then sin crept into the scene in chapter 3. That uninterrupted fellowship with God was curtailed, was interrupted by sin. And Adam and Eve had to be ushered out of God's presence. The story then from then on throughout the, the historical books uh, to the poetical books uh, to the prophetic books was an, an attempt of God restoring man back to uninterrupted fellowship until Jesus Christ came onto the scene and he redeemed you and I. He made it possible for you and I to enjoy uninterrupted fellowship with God. So it is possible, it is not far-fetched to actually suggest that it is possible for man, it is possible for a woman to enjoy uninterrupted fellowship with God. Noah did it in the Old Testament. You and I can do it in the New Testament. You see, he walked with God for 300 years until he was no more. He walked so closely with God, he knew God intimately, he enjoyed uninterrupted fellowship. Allow me to suggest that when it says, and Noah and Enoch walked faithful with God, then he was no more. It suggests that also God enjoyed his fellowship. You know, when you are in touch, when you are bonding, when you are spending time with somebody that you love so deeply, you don't quite get to realize the amount of time that has, has gone by. I want to believe that God and, no, uh, God and Enoch enjoyed each other's fellowship so much. In fact, somebody cracked a joke and said, one time Enoch and God were walking, and as they kept talking, as they kept talking, they had walked such a long distance away from his earthly abode that when the boat looked back, God turned to Enoch and asked him, do you really want to go back? Then Enoch said, I don't want to go back. It is just somebody's imagination. But I believe that God enjoyed Enoch's company. And I pray that God will enjoy your company as well. Because man was created to enjoy an interrupted fellowship with God. So whatever that has been robbing you, that intimate relationship with God, that uninterrupted fellowship with God, do not allow it to rob you the same in this year 2022. But finally, that Enoch walked with God for 300 years suggests three things I said. Number one, that ordinary men and women can know God intimately. But secondly, that it is possible to enjoy an interrupted fellowship with God. But thirdly, that God longs for an intimate relationship with his creation. You see, it is not just Enoch who loved God's fellowship. God also loved his fellowship. You see, God has been pursuing you. God has been pursuing me. God pursues human beings for an intimate relationship with, with him. God is not satisfied with a superficial relationship. He is not happy. He is not content with a superficial engagement. God wants to engage with you deeply. The Bible does say 
in Psalms, deep calls to deep. God, at the depth of God's heart, is a longing to connect with you very deeply. That is why God created you. And I pray that in the year 2022, you will enjoy an intimate relationship with God. That you will know when he speaks. You will sense when he's prodding you, when he's prompting you. You will hear him when he whispers in the inner chamber. You will see him when he moves. That you will not miss him in the year 2022. But that you will walk intimately, uh, closely with God and enjoy an intimate relationship with God. Because that is what God has designed for you. So as we bring this message to a close, walking with God, my prayer is that you, like Enoch, will enjoy an intimate relationship with God. Yes, you're an ordinary person, but even ordinary people like Enoch can enjoy an intimate relationship with God. You can enjoy God's presence uninterruptedly. You can enjoy his presence in the morning. You can enjoy his presence in the evening. You can enjoy his presence during the day. You can enjoy his presence in January. You can enjoy his presence throughout the year and even to the end of the year. You don't just have to enjoy his presence when you go to the house of God. You can enjoy his presence at work. You can enjoy his presence at church. You can enjoy his presence at home. This is what God has designed you to experience. And my prayer is that you will walk with God in the year 2022. You'll walk in step with him. You'll walk close by him. You'll walk in his spirit. You'll walk in his word. When he speaks, you will hear and you'll obey. So that it may be said of you like it was said of Enoch. And Patrick walked with God. And Leah walked with God. And Linda walked with God. And Beryl walked with God. And Humphrey walked with God. It is possible for you and for I to enjoy a personal relationship with God. The Lord bless you richly. And if you haven't received Jesus Christ into your heart as Lord and Savior, please say this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner. I welcome into my heart to be my Lord and my Savior. I receive you now and I thank you for hearing me and answering my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now if you say that prayer meaningfully, you have begun on that journey of walking and enjoying an intimate relationship with God, your Savior. The Lord bless you richly. My name is Patrick Kuche from System Church Online. The Lord bless you richly and have a great year ahead of you. Walk with the Lord. Amen. My faith has found a resting place not in device nor creed i trust the ever living one his wounds for me shall plead i need no other argument i need no It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for I need no other I need no
salvation through his blood. I need no other. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. 